What's going on guys, it's Dasher here. Welcome to another video and today I'll be showing you my personal computer. I'll show you all the parts that are inside it and if you guys were just curious just to know how I record and everything and what I use and my, my build. Awesome. This was my second PC build, and I am honestly pretty happy with the way that it had turned out. After doing some research, I was pretty confident that I chose decent parts for my budget at the time. Starting off with the build, I chose the Ryzen 5 3600 processor, as it is highly recommended throughout all PC builds. It gets the job done when I want to record and edit videos, and somewhere along the way I can use it to stream if I really want to, but I'm not sure yet. The motherboard that I chose for the build was the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. This motherboard is a great all-rounder for my needs, and it is the next step up to the highly appreciated MSI B450 Tomahawk. Choosing the RAM was pretty simple. I ended up purchasing the G-Skill Ripjaws 4 series 16GB red RAM sticks. It is highly recommended for basically all gaming PCs to have at least 16GB of RAM, and I also love the red on the sticks too. The most important part of any gaming PC is the GPU. After doing some extensive research, I decided to buy the MSI Radeon 5700 XT Mech. It crushes all games that I love with high performance, as I plan on only gaming on 1080p. There are no problems that I have with this graphics card, and it is a huge step up to the one that I had in the past, which was the GTX 1660 Ti. Powering this bad boy up is the Thermaltake Smart 600 watt 80 plus power supply. It gets the job done with an ultra quiet fan. For the storage, I have two storage units in the PC, which includes the WD Blue 500GB SSD and the Seagate Barracuda 2TB internal hard drive. I use the SSD for a faster Windows boot up and the hard drive to store all the videos and content that I post for YouTube for you guys. I also use the hard drive for all my games I play. Both these storages have really good reviews and I could not be happier. I decided to add some extra fans to help with CPU temperature, and I went with two Corsair AF120 red LED fans. I love how they match my overall setup, and it really does make a difference to my CPU temperature in the end. I recommend that you guys buy extra case fans so you can help elongate the life of your CPU for the future. Lastly, I bought some extra Arctic MX4 thermal paste just in case I needed it. Windows 10 Home Edition to install Windows to the computer, and an Hourlink 600 megabyte per second USB wireless adapter for Wi-Fi, since the motherboard does not have built-in Wi-Fi. Overall, I believe that this PC will last me a while, and I do not plan on upgrading anytime soon in the future. Cable management was kinda sloppy in the beginning, and I even messed up with the cables, as you can see. I tie in one of the wires inside the back plate, so I had to redo it. Thank god I had extra thermal paste. Afterwards, the cable management was better and I was satisfied with it. I also moved Deadpool a little bit because of the intake fans that were taking up space. I love how my PC matches my overall setup, which is black and red. There you guys have it. This is Dasher's gaming PC as of 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think down below. See you later.